Thank you, Lord. And the Lord said we should pray for some people. I see five people rising from this African continent. Five. And the Lord said they're going to come to be a powerful leader that would defy the orders of the Westerners. Hmm. The Lord said two is already here. Number one is Enam Bekalo. Another one is Julius Malema from South Africa. Another two is coming from uh, Francophone. Cameroon, uh, all this Francophone, French-speaking country. Two is coming. One is coming from the East of Africa. They are coming. Five. That will pioneer and change the face of Africa. Hallelujah. Write this message. Thou says the Lord. Five men that will refuse to bow to a cultic world. And these people, if you try to kill them, they're in trouble. You are in trouble. But Lord said we should pray for Julius Malema. I see them, they want to ingest something like a cancer. But it will not work. Yeah. And the Lord said if you are a true child of God, your duty is to be praying for Nam de Kalo. If you call yourself an African man, a true child of God, you, every day you should pray for him. Because... These are the people God wants to use to change the face of Africa. And no Jupiter that can stop it. Mm -hmm. This is the truth that people don't want to hear. But I will say it because the Lord has said I should say it. Yes. Because in Lamentation 337, we say, Who is it that will speak and it comes to pass? It comes to pass when the Lord has not spoken. Nobody. God has spoken this morning. And that settles it. And that settles it. No yes. Jupiter, no power, no authority that can stop it. No power demon can undo it. No.